It's certainly no shrinking violet. The Monstera deliciosa, or Swiss cheese plant, is a true queen of the jungle with its large leaves and abundant growth. This season's must-have, it features in every trendy apartment right now as the plant's popularity continues to spread. Actress Jennifer Lawrence shared the cover of Vanity Fair with Swiss cheese plants and they adorn a Gucci top. The sustainable fashion brand Greenlee has designed an entire swimwear collection around the plant. And images of its distinctive leaves appear on products of all kinds, from posters to cushions. Juan y Presto from upscale Berlin florist's Masano has an explanation for all this hype. It's incredibly decorative, thanks alone to these very unusual leaves, where every one is different. Many architects place them in very austere contexts. Their wild character represents a real break in style. There's this pared-down minimalism, and then along comes this very wild primeval plant and just runs riot. What personally fascinates me about the Monstera is that one leaf is enough. You can just put one in a nice vase, and that's decoration enough for your apartment. The Swiss cheese plant originally comes from Central America. The Polish botanist Josef Waszewicz brought the first one back to Europe in the mid-19th century. This was the beginning of a blossoming career as a source of inspiration for a number of artists. Pablo Picasso shared his studio with a huge monster. Henri Matisse's famous collages were inspired by them. Art critic Zilke Hormann says he was most fascinated by their leaves. What makes the Swiss cheese plant special is its designed look. Its leaves are unique. They have these irregular shapes with cutaways. Looking at them as someone who's interested in form and wanting to know the reason for their appeal, you have to say it's because they're very well made. They look like a well-made design object. Design greats Charles and Ray Eames also had a liking for them. The husband and wife team helped to define what's known as the mid-century modern aesthetic, which is all the rage again. Another reason why the Swiss cheese plant is enjoying a revival in popularity. There are even some blogs exclusively devoted to the monstera and other plants of its kind. The Urban Jungle Bloggers is particularly popular, a virtual oasis for the green-fingered. Jude de Graaf from Paris and Munich-based Igor Yosifovich are the driving force behind the blog. This is inspired by today's hunger for nature. We live in urban environments where green spaces are in short supply. And this is a way of bringing some nature back home with us, of creating our own green spaces. And the easiest way of doing that is with potted plants. That's why they've written a book called Urban Jungle. It's a collection of ideas, a source of inspiration, a handbook for all those who want to introduce more plants into their lives. The Swiss cheese plant gets an entire chapter to itself. What's also popular, an old favorite, the rubber plant. This beauty, the Calathea. What I also really like about houseplants is that they learn you how to be more patient. To bloom, for example, or to grow a new leaf, it takes time. And if you see it every day, you see the development and you have to be patient to see, it, to see how it happens and when it happens. And it's not instant. So I think in these fast times, it's important that we stay in touch with nature. And houseplants is a good way to make nature part of your daily life. And more and more people agree with her. Florist Wani Prestel already has an inkling what might be the next big thing in terms of potted plants. Easy care cacti. And for them, you don't even need green fingers.